flock to leave the hollow. She locked herself away to study. The separation pained Agar. Like you know it does. Unable to bear the loneliness, Agar finally took to the sky. High above, the open air cradled him like star cloth ribbonettes. He felt peace in the deafening rush of wind across his feathers. Once he found them a new home, Riga would love him as he loved her. She would offer him the scepter their mother had crafted for him. The scepter that Riga selfishly kept. But as he approached the forest's edge, night fell and thunder shook his heart. Agar saw a great storm building on the horizon. Had he the scepter, he could have fought. Instead, he listened, straining through the thunder for the faint secondary beat of Riga's twin heart. Through lightning and chaos, he followed it home. Agar told Riga of the storm, the forest's edge and the gleaming bulbs of starlight clashing overhead. She didn't scold him or tell Mother Kestrel. She listened and heard the possibility in his tale. Gratitude. Imagine that. In another life, I'd have appointed Aldrin dominion of the Reef's borderlands. To expand and connect the kingdom under my reign, Agar's scepter in hand, he would have used it to open doors and challenge foes best left alone. He was not unlike a guardian already, and he would have died before his time. Aldrin's fall was a predetermined point, so I hid the scepter away and gave him something safe to chase. He often strayed from that path. Oh, excuse me. You see this crazy storyline? This storyline is fucking crazy. This is another part of the storyline that actually connects with the other one. I'm not sure whether I recorded the other ones. If I have, I'm going to try and put them all together in one whole storyline so you guys can actually hear the whole conversation. Yo, this shit is freaky, yo. Just listening to the sounds. This is the worst one. That's one, two, and that's three. That one's the next one. That's next week. That's next week, guys. So I got that one the first week, second week, third week. It's just crazy. Stay tuned for more. Later. Wait. Is there later? Or is there a cutscene? Nope, no cutscene. So, I practically actually finished the quest log. Of that one and I have to return to the helm so we're gonna go back to the helm and um, see what they gotta talk to us about let's go to the helm and see what the hell they gotta talk about this is the part that I'm trying to tell you guys this game is freaking driving us nuts the storyline on this game is freaking crazy it is very very crazy but then the season quest is trying to prepare us for the wish queen and half of us is not going to be ready for it because we're not going to have the weapons and stuff. And half of us actually have given up on it because of the simple fact that they're tired of going around in circles. And then half of us actually can't even get some of these missions done, which is understandable. Let's go. So, I just want to show you guys what I've been doing. Interact. And it gave me another gun that I cannot pick up. So I gotta clean out my inventory. So what's in here? Ugh. Let's go clean out my inventory. God damn it. Sometimes you hate when your inventory is fucking full. Hello? 
and you just don't have room. Okay, this submachine gun could go away because I don't really need that. That's a fusion rifle. That's a line of fusion rifle. That's another submachine gun. We could get rid of that because I already have a submachine gun and it's right here. So I really don't need that submachine gun. Uh, sidearm. That's a sidearm. But I love this sidearm. This sidearm is fucking beast. Okay, well you could go back in there. Um, that could go in there. I gotta clean up my thing. Grenade launcher. That could stay. Uh, submachine gun. Again. I don't need you. Um, pulse rifle. Sidearm, line of fuse, ray, fusion rifle. That could stay. That stay. Okay. Yeah, I think we got a fusion rifle. That's another one. Fusion rifle. Fuse. This one could go away. Okay. I don't know why the hell do I have so many fucking weapons, y'all? It's just crazy how many fucking weapons I have at the same. Just notice that. Yo, guys, I just noticed I have so many of the same. Not only that, I have so many outfits that are also the same. That I have to actually fix inside the vault. And I will. Oh well, let's go back down there and um, get this weapon that they gave us. Give me it. That's a 21. That's a 21. Let's combine it with the other one. Which I've kind of already maximized it, so I'm just going to combine it. I don't care. I'm just going to combine it, guys. Alright, so, as you can see, that is completed. Um, that mission is done. This one right here is next week, and I won't be able to actually do anything. And then I got these right here I have to complete within 20 hours. I'll be able to complete those no time soon. And I haven't actually started any of these. Only one I got done today was this one, and now I have to complete this one. This one right here might take some time, but I'm going to get that done. This one right here is going to definitely take time as well, and it's going to take me a while, so... <sighs> That's like a long weekend of this, and a long Monday of this. How am I going to get 50 kills in a matter of three days? Three days. Well, actually, four days, actually, because you got Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And Monday. Tuesday is reset. I'll be lucky if I even get that done. Wish me luck, guys. Because, see, that keeps going up. That keeps going up. So, it's, it's getting more and more intense. So, as you can see, that is done. Um, I completed the thingy that was supposed to be done. Um, if you want to know what it is, go see one of the homies. He does a wonderful job. Uh, do I? How many of? I want to check my inventory. How many do I have? I need 600. 600 and 400. I need to. I need to maximize these. So I need to go do some bounties, so that I could get some of the stuff done. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you actually enjoyed this little video, and stay tuned for more. Peace.